can Syrians welcome back so I've been getting a lot of requests to continue the weekly so I'm gonna do that the best that I can so let's do this we want to know for this upcoming week and the weekend as well what's going on that you should be aware of for your highest good what's coming towards you in your life <clears throat> and of course we're gonna ask about your soulmate whoever it is that you're thinking of while watching this video whether you are currently in contact with them or not we're going to ask how they doing what's going on with them and how they are relating to you at this time so let's do this universe please step in show very important messages for the sign of cancer for cancer's highest good please collectively what is coming towards cancer and how to deal with it best what is going on in cancer's life <clears throat> Wow, so you're taking charge of you, everything in your life. You are very strong. You're taking charge. You're taking control of your life. You're not allowing anybody or anything put you out of balance, out of sync. You're very strong. Yeah, look at this. Victory card. Six of Wands. Yes, so you are putting behind anything or anyone that was toxic, that didn't serve you for your highest good yeah a lot of drama you've been through a lot you've been through a lot a lot of backstabbers jealous people you're taking care of your finances it shows here very good you're good at whatever you do whether you have your own business or um, work for somebody else you're very good you're very diligent you're successful you have jealous people around you though yeah um yeah you already know who they are you listen to your instinct you're very much in charge people respect you people look up to you even those that are jealous of you obviously are jealous for a reason so Somebody has their eye on you. Somebody is keeping tabs on you, spying on you. Six of Pentacles. You're doing very well for yourself. You're doing business deals with other people. This is very good. It's going to be profitable for you and them as well. So it looks like you're still trying to heal from your past disappointment. Most likely your past love that you were in with somebody. Also, Aries energy showing up here and Pisces energy. Ace of, this is beautiful. So very successful business dealings for you. You're very much a diligent, competent business person. Yeah. Um, continue having uh, associations with other people who are also like-minded when it comes to business because it's going to be very profitable for you and them as well yes good financial profit for you uh, i want to see more clarification here universe for cancerian more clarification for cancerian so, so you have a lot of people interested in you okay so people are watching you because you have a lot of interested people in you romantically and business wise yeah so there is somebody uh looks like a female uh that is uh like a business owner that would make uh profit for you uh it would be a good business venture for two of you this also means that in a love reading that a lot of people that are interested in you whether you male or female this these people see you as high class with high standards integrity self-respect so people respect you and look at this the empress card is on top of victory card which is six of wands and six of pentacles so good good business deals coming to you so you still are trying to get over your past heartache from whatever relationship you were in you still miss the person 
you still miss the person. Don't be so hard on yourself. The reason why you miss them is because of the soul connection the two of you have from past lifetimes. It's very deep, but you are healing. Nevertheless, this is important to know with the Six of Swords that you are healing. It's, it takes time, so be patient with yourself. Shows here that you're doing very well for yourself with your business ventures, your work, your finances. You're very admired by a lot of people. You are successful, so don't be hard on yourself. Universe, please step in, show very important messages for the sign of Cancerians, for the sign of Cancer, the soulmate of Cancer, no matter what sign or gender they are, uh, whether they are in contact with Cancer or not at the moment. Uh, universe, what is the soulmate of Cancer dealing with? How are they doing in their life that Cancer should be aware of? What's happening with the soulmate's life and how is the soulmate of cancer relating to cancer at this time? Nine of Cups. Wow. So, yeah. Their wish is to rush in and talk to you. But this is, even though a very honest talk, it's a blunt communication could be harsh communication their wish they thinking of you heavily their wish is to rush into your life and talk to you very objectively bluntly honestly uh, but they stopping themselves they restraining themselves leo energy showing up here with the strength card they very unbalanced very emotional their energy is all over the place. They're not balanced at all. Not grounded, no matter what sign they are. Let me see what else is showing up that Cancer is allowed to see. What is going on with the soulmate of Cancer and how is the soulmate relating to Cancer at this time? So they're waiting, even though their wish is to come forward, come to you and talk to you very objectively, very honestly, bluntly. They stopping themselves, they very unbalanced, and they waiting, they patiently waiting, assessing the situation to see if maybe you reach out to them. They don't want to look desperate or needy. Why do they want to come to you? Because this person is in love with you, but they're not telling you. So whatever mistakes they've made in the past, they regretting those mistakes. And they realize they still love you. So this is unspoken, hidden love. They still love you. They are not able to release you. They're very worried. So this person has a lot of regrets. So they admit to themselves, no matter what sign or gender they are, they admit to themselves that they've made major mistakes and they regret them. So it's weighing very heavily on them emotionally. They regret them deeply because they love you. So they were foolish in the past. This person wants to bring you solid offer, but they are scared you don't want it anymore. This means uh, in a love reading, um, marriage proposal, engagement, living together, going steady. This also means another thing that they are concentrating on their trade, their finances, their financial stability, financial uh, financial um, future. They are very stubborn. They are very stubborn. So you're dealing with somebody who's successful in the business world, but at the same time has a big ego, is arrogant. Yeah. They are used to getting things their way. Uh, yeah, they're very arrogant. So you're dealing with somebody that is arrogant, stubborn, and, and used to getting their way. So their wish, and they they scared they lost that chance with you because of their past mistakes they made. Their wish is to build this foundation from the ground again and have a solid uh, relationship with you. Some of you are dealing with Sagittarius. 
um, Aries, Virgo, Gemini, and Sagittarius are coming through very strongly in Leo. All the signs are showing up here, but the strongest ones are Aries, Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius, and Leo. The Tower. Yeah, Taurus energy. So for some of you, this broke up either your relationship that was very serious. They made some major mistakes, which they deeply regret because they still love you. And it shows here that you two were going steady. If you weren't married, uh, this shows very serious commitment. The two of you were very serious about each other and they did something crazy. Maybe both of you did it. But nevertheless, the tower means that the universe had to intervene for your highest good because it was very toxic in the recent past. It had to be dismantled for your own good. I don't like this emperor with the magician combination. It's not good. Universe, please show more clarification for this emperor on the soulmate of Cancerian death. So they gonna, this losing you, this experience of losing you while they are in love with you is going to teach them to let their ego die. It's going to be very painful for them to go through this spiritual rebirth. It's going to be painful for, for them emotionally and spiritually, but it's absolutely necessary. Uh, you are teaching them. You are their soulmate for many lifetimes, and you are teaching them. In this lifetime, you're going to teach them uh, how to let their ego die, which is absolutely necessary for them to graduate spiritually, to grow as an individual. They are wearing a mask. They are very overconfident with themselves. Uh, they don't appreciate people, relationships. Uh, they're very stubborn. Uh, rigid, uh, arrogant, but that's going to die off. Their ego is going to die, and it's going to be very painful to them, but it's absolutely necessary. Some of you are also dealing with the Gemini. Wow, holy crap. So let's see. We're going to ask, uh, no matter whoever you think of while watching this video, whether it's your soulmate from the past or somebody you're interested in, um, now, we're going to ask how this individual is towards you uh, now, meaning their true long-term intentions and plans for you now. Anything they're hiding from you, whether on purpose or not, that the universe feels you should be aware of at this time for your highest good. And of course, at the very end, we're going to ask advice from the universe and your guides on how to best handle this situation uh, for your highest good, of course, you want to do right by yourself, right? You love yourself, you want to do right by yourself and others as well. So click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Thank you so much, Cancerians.